Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Columbus Aviators franchise. We're here in week, what is this, 12? Not sure. Sound like that, 12. We're facing the Giants. Uh, this is obviously a voice recording. Because when I was recording it in real time, I only got like two minutes of recording and then it stopped recording for some reason. I didn't even notice until the end of the video. So I despise voice recordings and I'm kind of forced to do one right here, which is very annoying. Um, yeah, facing the Giants, they're a pretty decent team. You can see their uh, ratings right now. They're pretty good. They're not the worst team in the world. They obviously have probably the worst record in the league at this point with a 2-9 and nine record, but, you know, they're not bad. They just have consistency issues, something we kind of faced um, last season. A lot last season, actually. And, yeah, I, I actually do like their team quite a bit. It's a, it's an interesting group on defense, say the least. I would, offense is kind of mediocre-ish and lackluster in all parts. But I would say defensively is where they do shine. And, yeah, that's pretty it for them, right? Yeah. They're saying the, the thing I don't like about this game is that they say things are trap games, but these are not really trap games. A 2 and 9 team is not a trap team because I feel like a trap game should be a team that's kind of like losing a couple games. Like they could have, like, let's say a team like with a 4 and 5 record, or 6 and 5 record, or 4 and 4, for instance. A team that could, like, that has lost maybe three in a row or lost two out of the last three games. Something like that, right? But they still are in contention for the playoffs. That should be considered a trap game instead of a team that's two and nine. What are they trapping? They're bad. They win one they win one more game, right? They beat us. They become three and nine. That doesn't do anything for them. Now four and five team, they they can beat you, become five and five and go on to go on a win streak because they beat a good team. Versus them being an already bad team at two and nine and becoming three and three and nine. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, gameplay time. We had a fumble one of the first plays of the game, but as you will see, I just don't like that this is in the game. Like it's like fake fumbles, and then you got, like it's like oh coming on the field, and then you get on the field, and it's like oh no, it's actually not that. Like it's stupid. We actually played a pretty good defense this game, man. This was a very good defensive showing out of our team. We had a a lot of tackles for loss. I was going to say a few, but no, we had a lot of tackles for loss. We had a lot of tackles for loss, and we just didn't play that well um, offensively. I mean, there should have been times where we just absolutely, I'm not going to say dominated, but just played better, and we just didn't. Um, completing a couple passes here, getting a couple first downs, about to run the ball, get a nice little run right through the middle. Our run game was there today, but when I was playing, I really didn't notice that it was actually this, I'm not going to say good, but this decent. It should have been a touchdown right there, but, you know, mad, and they never let you just punch it in like that. And we'll just get an easy walk-in touchdown to put the game 7-zip. Moving on here, they're on offense. A lot of things are covered, but you know, if they throw into they're not throwing to covers, they're throwing he's getting the ball in a place, but my players are meeting him at that spot. Meaning, yes, he can he should be letting go of the ball. Like 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 stuff stuff like that kinda. Should be letting go of the ball in my opinion. Injury for them. You're gonna see a few injuries here on this game. And just a missed tackle. Stupid shit. I truly do hate voice recording. But look at us. Beautiful coverage. Nothing open. Force throw it away. I think that's going to give him three points. And yes, it does. What's it, the game? Seven to three. Look at the ball here. Running a play action right here. And throwing the ball for a wide 
throw incomplete. We had, we're going to see a lot of those today, and they're just open to flat. We're missing and able to get the tackle. I thought we had the ball. I'm like, how did we get the ball? No, we do not. They still have the ball. <laughs> and uh, coming over with a sack, I think. Yes, that is a sack. That is uh, Marquise Belton. A guy who likes to disappear, then return, then disappear. He just, you feel me? He takes breaks sometimes, I guess. Just a wide throw, like another just wide ankle throw. And we somehow give the ball back to them. Rushing off. Using the D-line and coming with the sack. That's what you like to see. Big boy plays. Covering everything. Throwing it deep and went into that. Even if he would have caught, he would have been out of bounds and he would have been forced to punt. So, you know, it's kind of whatever. Rolling out, looking to hit A and we do run that. Out. Running back in bounds and then running back out of bounds. Then run the ball here. Our run game, like I said to earlier, it was pretty decent. You see, forming right there, like right on the three. I'm going to try to run the ball again, but I said, no, this guy's wide open. And, and I'm getting a pretty easy touchdown to put it 14 to 3. It's third quarter already, and running the ball again, and just beautiful stick work right there. Running in, running out, running out the middle. This just is really good right now. There was just nothing open, you know. You just got a playmaker sometimes. So you just got a playmaker outfield and make a play happen. That's such a good feature, playmaker, man. I be thinking they should, as we get a touchdown right there. I be thinking we should, like, they should take that out of the game sometimes. But, bro, playmaker is such a good feature because they either route bounce way too fucking late or not at all. Like, you're not supposed to just sit there forever. You're supposed to try to get open. Like, it makes sense. And we're going to get the ball back 21-3 uh, to three at this point. End up making a throw, and I think we made the catch. We did. I look here. Maybe I should throw the A, but uh, I could have dumped that underneath, honestly. But just a dumb throw. I wasn't even saying this while I was playing. It was a stupid throw. It was no reason for me to really actually throw that shit. But I did it anyways for, once again, no reason. And we got the ball back. Their hair, just everything is well covered, bro. This is what I'm saying. Their defense plays way better than all. Offense is just, like, is very mediocre. Like, a lot of things they do are just, like, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I think they're getting a rough and no, they're just getting a hold call and it's gonna push it back like third and twenty three or something like that. And possibly force no, nah, I'd say forcing a punt. Well they don't get this, it'll be forcing a punt. And uh, third and twenty three. I mean we gave up more yards before. We usually do give up big plays, but I don't think we're gonna give a big play this time as they dump it down and not really get anything. It's gonna be fourth and like twelve or something. You know, getting the ball back. Pretty open, and ball is widely thrown. We're going to be forced to punt. But when we do punt, they get a little greedy and hit our punter in the leg. Which is going to put us on like the 15 or 14 or something like that. So, very bad play by them. They could just punt the ball and possibly got the ball back uh, on a 20. Throw the ball. Nothing is a catch because our team cannot catch. Gonna up taking a field goal, pushing 24 to 3. It is kind of, I would say, early, early in the fourth quarter. Kind of kind of late in the fourth quarter. No, it's kind of early. It's like six something. So I think we're probably like aiming the quarters. Pretty early. They still have time to come back. It's not a, like an impossible uh, game to come back on. And I really don't know how they caught this, bro. Like, I swear. The CPU gets all these miraculous plays, these lucky ass plays every time. You're telling me he's basically double covered, basically. 
And his feet hit before his ass hits the out of bounds bar. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This is the shit I be talking about sometimes. Like, they just be doing, like, getting whatever they want sometimes. Label me? Never. Never. Gonna be here on the goal line. We're running just an all out blitz to try to get in. And obviously, when we're all out blitz, they pass, and it's gonna be a penalty. Doesn't really matter. Touchdown's still gonna count, so. I think I was gonna put it twenty-four to ten, which doesn't really matter. We're gonna end up passing here, trying to roll out. This, I will admit, dumb play. We should have lobbed it upfield. We just did not. Did something very stupid. Like I, I passed lead it up, but it just didn't really go further than the linebacker. Which is kind of fucked. Throwing it to the outside, completing. They're running out of times under three minutes now. I was like, if they don't score before the two minute warning, I'm cool. And it looks like they're not going to score before the two minute warning. Right there. A sack by Monk, I think. And I even said to myself, right here, I'm cool with giving up stuff. And it's 14 14. And that is basically going to do it for the game. You just need to get a first down. And. That we do, and that is really going to do it for this game. We had a good game with our quarterback. Threw for 232 yards. Nope, he threw 232 yards. He threw for 172, really? We had a good game running with um Jaquan Smith for 105 yards, 7 average on the ground, two touchdowns. Their running back didn't have that good of a game, but it was pretty decent. And for our receivers, we threw it to a lot of people. For some reason, there was even a safety there, uh, Stallworth. I don't even know how he got there, but he was there on the target somehow. Uh, and defensively, Tigers for loss had a bunch, a bunch. It's so many, I can't even count. A couple sacks and one into. And uh, we ended up winning that game. It was a pretty good game. Uh, a couple mistakes. We could have ended up losing that game, but... We actually don't. We end up moving to nine and not nine two, ten and two. Then move to two and ten, and uh, I think yep, it puts the top of the top of the league at the number one seed. Uh, Falcons behind us, Ravens behind us, Packers behind us. I was gonna do it for us. If you didn't enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, uh, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. What's up, next video? Peace.